Hey everyone, in the news this week, campaigners against dementia are arguing that football should be sold with a health warning, similar to cigarettes. Cigarettes? You know, if you're trying to smoke a football, then you're probably long gone anyway. Also, Bill Gates and Jeffrey Epstein apparently, quote, shared several dinners. Sharing dinners? Can't they afford their own meals? They've got enough money, don't they? Once more, though, it's been the Olympics in the news. With the closing ceremony this weekend, and as per usual, there are the ludicrous proposals put forward saying that the EU would have won the Olympics if it were a country, which it's not. And this holds about as much weight as me claiming that I would have won a medal if I were a world-class athlete, which I'm not. Anyway, this time around, the official rolling out on Twitter was Guy Verhofstadt, who spends most of his time obsessing over how to create a European federal superstate, dissolve national parliaments, allow Brussels to have direct control over the French military, etc, etc. He's a deranged, almost ludicrous caricature of an EU politician, the sort of Belgian that frankly belongs in Belgian comic books, alongside the Smurfs or possibly Tintin, where he could ban Captain Haddock for sailing due to new fishery regulations. Or possibly an episode of the Smurfs where he encourages Gargamel to get rich, not by capturing and boiling the Smurfs into gold, but by landing crippling economic rules onto Greece. Anyway, the Olympic tweet is certainly not the first of its type, so there are regularly demands from Brussels to ban national sports teams in favour of a European one, or force football shirts to incorporate the EU flag into the design. And this time around, there are actually official complaints made to the Japanese Olympic Committee because EU politicians weren't offered free tickets and hospitality, in a way that, for instance, France or Germany were, you know, presumably because no athlete wants to represent the EU in favour of their own country, but also probably due to fears that Jean-Claude Juncker might drink the place dry if he showed up at the bar, mistaking the 800 metres for 800 millilitres. However, the part that's never quite pointed out is that EU only would do well due to the fact that the contributing countries would make up a team of nearly 3,000 athletes, rather than the 125 that Belgium had this time around. It would be curious how well an EU team comprising of only 400 people would actually do, especially now that they can't commandeer British medals into the count. You know, the Olympics has a racing event called Cross Country. By the sounds of it, it's Belgium. Anyway, I'm going to be away on holiday next week, so see you in two weeks. And if you like these, click subscribe.